Hi, I'm Catherine with the Old Country Porch, and today I'm going to be showing you step by step how I make my bubble icing for my bath bomb cupcakes, and the recipe will be included in the video. So this is a recipe that I've come up with on my own. I've been using it for a couple of years and I love it. It's a little harder to make, but I will show you step by step exactly how I make it and give you the full recipe so that you can make this yourself. And I will leave the links to everything that I'm using, including the ingredients in the description below. First, you'll need 12 ounces of baking soda. Two ounces of cream of tartar. One and a half ounces of cornstarch. and a half ounce of tapioca starch. For the next ingredient, you're gonna to wanna to wear some kind of a mask. You can wear something like this, or even something simple like this one, or you can wear a respirator, but you need to wear something because this ingredient is very lightweight. It gets airborne easily, and it's very easy to breathe it in, and you do not want this stuff in your lungs. So with your mask on, you'll need two ounces of SLSA. Then you need three ounces of vegetable glycerin. one ounce of castor oil, and three ounces of SLS. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add the fragrance oil. Today I'm gonna to use Grape Happy Camper Candy from Nature's Garden. And this stuff smells exactly like a Grape Jolly Rancher. It smells delicious. And I'm going to put seven milliliters of fragrance oil. And I'm going to add a little bit of mica for coloring. And I'm folding this in carefully until all of the dry ingredients are wet. And now it's safe to take off your mask and really get it mixed in. Now I'm gonna set this aside and get my piping bag ready. Using a jumbo star tip. And I'm gonna put it in this pitcher so that it's easier to fill it. I'm also going to get my cupcake bath bombs ready because this next part is gonna go pretty quick. 
So this icing is too thick to pipe. So the very last ingredient is two ounces of 99% alcohol. After you add the 99% alcohol to here, you wanna mix it up and get it into the piping bag pretty fast because you only have a couple of minutes to get it piped before it starts to set up. You want to get it as smooth as you can and then get it in the piping bag. It's gonna be pretty runny when you start out, but it will start setting up pretty quick. So I always do the middle part and then go around the edges. And while these are still wet, I'm gonna add some candy mountain pour in beds. And to finish them off, I'm gonna sprinkle some glitter on them. So these take about eight to 12 hours to completely harden up and then they're ready to package. The icing is pretty firm, so it ships really well. I've never had a problem with a delivery being damaged. So this is how I package my bath bombs and you can see that the shrink wrap does not collapse the icing. So it's really the perfect texture. I hope you found this video helpful. If you try it, let me know how it worked out for you. And if you have any questions, you can ask in the comments below. If there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see, make sure to leave those in the comments below. And if I can, I will make the video. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.